Watch the draft. You make a draft way right down along the draft. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the University of Vermont Centennial Field and our broadcast tonight here on Vermont Film Service of the 1990 Division IV Vermont High School Baseball Championship game between the Eagles of Arlington High School and the Royals of South Royalton High School. The Eagles being introduced to the crowd here at Centennial Field at this very moment. And we will be uh, getting the introduction of the Royals just a little bit later on. It has been an eventful season for both of these baseball teams. South Royalton comes into the ball game as the uh, top seed remaining. They were the number, actually, as the lower seed remaining. They were the fourth seed coming into the tournament, while Arlington was the number two seed. But South Royalton knocked off the top seeded team, Whitcomb, the defending state champion, in the semifinals. So Royalton is the home team, the higher seeded team in tonight's championship game. South Royalton beat Whitcomb 6-5 in the semis. Arlington beat Craftsbury 4-3. Arlington is 16-1. They are the number two seed. They were the 1988 state champions. And let's look at their starting lineup tonight. Leading off their left fielder, number two, Jim Lane. Batting second, the first baseman. Number five, Hooper Pickering. Batting third, the center fielder, D.J. Matthew. Batting fourth, the pitcher, Todd Harrington. Batting fifth, the catcher, Chad Harrington. Batting sixth, the shortstop, Scott Witt. Batting seventh, the second baseman, Corey White. Batting eighth, the first, ba uh, first baseman, Jason Record. And batting ninth, the designated hitter, Mike Lampron. He'll bat for the right fielder, Steve White. Now the introduction beginning for Royalton. South Royalton comes into this ball game. Fourth seeded team, 15 wins and three losses on the season. Let's look at their starting lineup. Leading off will be the pitcher, number 21, Robbie Mashinsky. Mashinsky, the pitcher, leads off. Batting second, the shortstop, Ray Collins. Batting third, the catcher, Dusty Rickard. Batting cleanup, the third baseman, Andy Trottier. Batting fifth, the first baseman, Jonathan Harrington. Batting sixth, the center fielder, Jamie Kenny. Batting seventh, the left fielder, Brett Ballantyne. Batting eighth, the designated hitter, Dale Dickerson. He's batting for the second baseman, Nathan Ainsworth. And batting ninth for South Royalton will be the right fielder, Ryan Harrington. South Royalton and Arlington getting ready to go at it for the Division IV State Championship on the line. We get ready for the start of the ball game. South Royalton, the home team, as we said, and we will check them out defensively. Out in right field for South Royalton, that is uh, Ryan Harrington. The center fielder is Jamie Kenny. And around in left field, Brett Ballantyne. We come into the infield, the third baseman is Andy Trottier. The shortstop is Ray Collins. The second baseman is Nathan Ainsworth. And at first base, Jonathan Harrington. Down behind the plate, the catcher for South Royalton is Dusty Rickert. And the starting pitcher is Robbie Mich uh, Mikshinsky. Mikshinsky, right-hander for the Royals of South Royalton High School. As we get the ball game underway, we will point out what probably is obvious to you as you look out at the field. It is somewhat threatening here. Only 7.30 early in June. We should usually have pretty bright light remaining but leaden overcast right now and just a little bit of rain falling right now here at the ballpark we had a little bit earlier on which has gone away for the moment but there's very light showers forecast not too pleasant hopefully we'll be able to get this one in Jim Lane the left fielder will lead off for the Eagles of Arlington right-handed batter stands in against McShinsky and the Division IV state championship game about to get underway. Here's the first pitch of the game. And it missed. Loaded in a bit high and outside. One ball, no strikes. 
Third baseman Trottier up on the edge of the grass for the Royals at third. Here's the pitch. And it's down low. And McShinsky falls behind now. Two balls and no strikes on Lane. The Eagles of Arlington, 15 and 1, coming into the ball game. There's a strike. Fastball up the knees on the inside corner. It's 2 and 1 now on Lane. Hooper pickering the third baseman. DJ Matthew, the center fielder, to follow. Pitch swung on and lined to left field for the base hit. Up to get the ball, Ballantyne plays it back in, and Lane turns and holds on with a leadoff single. A runner at first, nobody out for the Eagles of Arlington. And Hooper Pickering, the third baseman, coming up. Pickering, senior third baseman. For the Eagles under coach Tim Stewart. Quick throw to first and diving back in safely was Lane. Mikshinsky with that snap move made it pretty close. Now the set. Mikshinsky with a pitch and it swung on and looped foul off to the right side and out of play. One strike on Pickering. Now the right-hander Bekshinsky again over to first base and Lane diving back in safely. Right-hander ready. The 0-1 pitch missed off the inside corner with a fastball. One ball and one strike. Vermont Film Service happy to be able to bring you this ball game. 1-1 one, one pitch. Outside corner, a strike called. It's 1-2 and two on Pickering. State championship sports events all through the high school season from Vermont Film Service. 1-2 pitch. Swung on, foul. Straight back to the screen. Count holds at a ball and two strikes on Pickering. Pleasant enough evening temperature-wise. And just a little bit of light rain out there right now. Not enough to affect the ball game at this point. One-two pitch. Sidearm goes on by. Was outside for a ball all the way back to the screen. Down to second lane. Takes the big turn at second as the Arlington catcher, Rickert, got back to the screen to come up with it. And a wild pitch. Two balls and two strikes on Pickering. And Lane is in scoring position now at second base. McShinsky that time came around sidearm. He showed that snap delivery to first base a couple of times in the pickoff move. And that time he showed it to the plate, but he fired it way outside. Now Lane leading at second. 2-2 pitch to Pickering. Swung on, chopping ground ball back to the mound. Holding the runner momentarily for the out was McShinsky. Throws to first. And they put the tag on the runner Pickering going down. 1-3 as the runner moves over to third base. McShinsky stopped the one hopper back to the mound, spun around, tried to freeze the runner, but realized if he waited much longer, he might lose the out at first base. So he fired on to first for the out. And as he did so, Lane proceeded to move over to third. So he's there with one away. And DJ Matthew, the center fielder, is coming up. And at this early stage of the ball game, South Royalton brings the infield up all the way around. Throw to third, and diving back safely was Lane. They're in tight on the right side. And three quarters of the way in on the left side is the shortstop Collins for South Royalton. The third baseman Trottier holding the runner with the bag. Here's the pitch, and Matthew takes a strike on the outside corner, nothing in one. Right-hander pitching. And the bunt pushed toward the first base side. The runner does not come, and they don't get anybody. The pitcher, McShinsky, came up with the ball, was so intent upon holding the runner at third base that he let the runner at first base reach safely. And that'll be a fielder's choice for Matthew, 
no base hit. And to third base, or holding at third base, is Lane. And runners at first and third for Arlington with one man out. As South Royalton's coach, Jim Ballou, comes out to settle down his infield a little bit. McShinsky, again that time, very intent upon that runner, Lane. So intent that he didn't get the out this time at first base. Runners at the corners, one out, and the cleanup man, Todd Harrington, the pitcher, is coming up. Infield, in on the left side, the shortstop in tight. Second baseman back over at the edge of the grass. And the throw to first, they've got the runner picked off. Lane leads down the line from third. He's coming home. Here's the throw to the plate. He scores, and safely into second base on the play goes Matthew. It is 1-0 Arlington. Well, you could see right along throughout that whole series that uh, South Royalton was not at all comfortable with letting Arlington do things on the bases. And finally, the double steal did indeed happen. And it's 1-0 Arlington with a runner at second and one out. And the pitch is in for a strike called on Todd Harrington. It's nothing and one. Double steal, Lane steals home as Matthew steals second base. Pitch to Harrington, down low, blocked into the dirt by the catcher Rickert. One ball, one strike on Todd Harrington. Chad Harrington, the catcher, waiting on deck. Two Harringtons on each side in this ball game. Pitch comes in. Check swing roller up the first base side. It's a foul ball. One ball, two strikes on Todd Harrington. Defensively out in the field right now for South Royalton. The first baseman is Jonathan Harrington. And the right fielder is Ryan Harrington. One ball, two strike count here. Pitch comes in, and it swung on and looped foul off to the right side. That's going to be out of play up over the bleachers. And the count holds at a ball and two strikes on Todd Harrington. Division four, state championship baseball action at Centennial Field. One, two pitch on the way. Swing and a miss, strike three, and Harrington is down on strikes. First strikeout for McChinsky, and there are two away for Arlington here in the first inning as the catcher, Chad Harrington, comes to the plate. Another right-handed hitter against McShinsky. Two out with a runner at second. Pitch coming. And it's off the inside corner. One ball, no strikes. A leadoff single by Lane. He went to second on a wild pitch. To third on an infield out. There's a strike. One and one on Chad Harrington. And after Matthew reached on a fielder's choice, the double steal scored a run. Matthew at second, two out. Pitch, ground ball, left side. The shortstop Collins comes up with it. Fires across to first. High, and he threw it away. It's out of play over on the first base side. A run will score. And they'll award uh, Chad Harrington second base. It's 2-0 Arlington. Matthew went to third on the ground ball. Scores on the overthrow. And on the error, charge to the shortstop. Down to second base, Chad Harrington. So two miscues in the infield in this first inning for South Royalton. One, not technically an error. It allowed Matthew to reach on a fielder's choice, but he should have been out. And now the throwing error by Collins. Harrington Chad is at second base. Matthew is home. It is 2-0 Arlington. And the batter is the shortstop, Scott Witt. Pitch comes in, and it's low from Mikshinsky. One ball and no strikes. Two runs on one base hit in this inning. Pitch comes in, and it's swung on and lined at the right field for a base hit, charged by Harrington. 
turning third and heading for home is Harrington. The throw to the plate is cut off, and it is 3-0 Arlington. Scott Witt with the RBI single as Chad Harrington comes home to score. And the Arlington Ball Club, which won the state championship in 1988, is off and running in pursuit of the 1990 title. They have a 3 nothing lead as Coach Ballou is back out there and conferring with his ball club in the infield. And Arlington will take advantage of the opportunity for a conference of their own. Witt with the RBI single, second hit of the inning. No changes as far as the pitching situation for South Royalton as Robbie McShinsky will stay on the mound and with two out he'll be pitching to the second baseman Corey White. With the runner at first, two down and three runs in here in the first inning for the Eagles of Arlington. The set and pitch on the way and it's on the outside corner for a strike call, nothing in one. Three runs in, two of them are unearned, and any further runs in the inning would be unearned here. As the two-out throwing error, very costly. Pitch in the dirt, and on back to the screen, down to second base goes Scott Witt, takes the big turn, comes sliding to a stop, and back into the bag as the catcher Rickert retrieves at the backstop. Wild pitch. Second of the inning of those for McShinsky. And a runner at second with two down and a two ball, one strike count now on Corey White. Make that a one ball, one strike count as the umpire behind the plate corrects the scoreboard. It's one and one on White. The sh uh, set by McShinsky in the pitch on the outside corner at the knees, like a slider, two balls and, or one ball and two strikes now. One and two, the count on Corey White. Now McShinsky ready. One, two pitch, down low, and the count goes even at two balls and two strikes. Jason Record, first baseman, waiting on deck. Two, two pitch, swing and a miss. High fastball, and White strikes out. Second strikeout of the inning for McShinsky, but a big inning for Arlington. They score three runs on two base hits. There was one error, one man left on base, and in the middle of the first inning, it is Arlington three and South Royalton coming to bat. We will check the Eagles of Arlington defensively. The right fielder for them is Steve White. The center fielder is DJ Matthew. And the left fielder is Jim Lane. In the infield at third base, Hooper Pickering is there. The shortstop is Scott Witt. The second baseman is Corey White. And around at first is Jason Record. Behind the plate, Chad Harrington. And on the mound, Todd Harrington, right-hander. Now we get ready for the bottom of the first inning. South Royalton down by three runs early in this one. And they'll have the pitcher, Robbie Mikshinsky, to lead it off. Then the shortstop, Ray Collins, and the catcher, Dusty Rickard. Light rain continuing to fall here at Centennial Field. Again, at this point, not really enough to be a factor in the ball game. And all the fans on hand, for the most part, have moved in under the roof here at Centennial Field and sitting back enjoying the ball game. Again, a pleasant night temperature-wise. McShinsky to lead it off. Todd Harrington into the line. First pitch is in for a strike called at the knees. It is nothing in one. Third baseman Pickering up even with the, with the uh, grass. Outfield a step the other way. As the pitch goes way low and away on back to the screen from Harrington. One and one on McShinsky. Right-hander Harrington pitches. And he missed. A little bit low off the outside corner. Two balls and a strike now on McShinsky. Pitch back, Swan, pop foul off to the right side and out of play. Two balls and two strikes now on McShinsky. Centennial Field, 405 to center field, 335 down the lines. 
Swung on, drive in the air, center field, center fielder up and diving, can't come up with the ball. It gets behind Matthew McShinsky with a big turn. The right fielder White gets over to pick it up, throws it back in, and it's a leadoff single for McShinsky. As Matthew had problems with that ball, he started in, then stopped, froze. I don't know if he lost it in the lights or exactly what the problem was, but turned on the speed again after finding the ball, but just did not get there in time to make the play. So McShinsky on with a leadoff base hit. He's at first with nobody out. And the shortstop Ray Collins coming up. Right-handed hitter. And Harrington firing over to first base, chasing Mcshinsky back into the bag. Mcshinsky, the pitcher, with a jacket on down there. Harrington to the set. And with Collins shortening up, the pitch was foul. It was high and inside. No, they say it hit him. Caught him off the hand. I thought it came off the bat. But they say it came off the hand, and Collins has been awarded first base. Pitch was up and in. The ruling is that it hit Collins, and he is at first base, hit by a pitch. Down to second is McShinsky, and trailing 3-0, South Royalton with a chance to get right back into the ball game with runners at first and second, and nobody out here. Dusty Rickard, the catcher, is up. Was set by Harrington, the pitch. And Rickard started to go, checked. They appeal, it's ball one. First base umpire says no swing. The umpire's Jim Frazier behind the plate. Bob Chet, the umpire at first, made that call. Pitch missing outside, two and nothing. Bruce James is the umpire at second. Rick Breen is the umpire at third. As we quickly run them down for you. 2-0 pitch, swung on, chopping foul ball at the plate. Two and one now on Rickard. Third baseman Andy Trottier scheduled up next. Three nothing Arlington, bottom of the first inning. Now the pitch by Harrington, swung on, foul, straight back to the screen. And the count goes even, two balls and two strikes. Two and two, with two on and nobody out. Pitch comes, the runner goes at second, the pitch is high for a ball, a throw to third, and McShinsky is out. He was breaking, but the catcher, Chad Harrington, with a strong throw down to Pickering, and McShinsky is out 2-6. Moving up to second on the play is Collins. He's there now with one out and a three ball, two strike count on Rickard. Todd Harrington pitches and missed outside ball four. So the non-steal of first base, or of third base I should say, costly here for Royalton. They would have the bases loaded with nobody out. As it is, they've got first and second with one out and the third baseman Andy Trottier is coming up. Collins the lead at second, Rickert on at first. Pitch, swing and a miss. Inside pitch, looked like it tied Trottier up a little bit, didn't make contact, no balls in one strike. Now Harrington ready. Swing and a miss, same spot, up and in. And he's quickly ahead on Trottier, two strikes. Nothing and two, the count on the South Royalton third baseman. And he's down swinging, three pitches, that one down and away. And Trottier, a strikeout victim, the first strikeout for Harrington. Two away, and here's another Harrington, Jonathan. First baseman for the Royals, up there with two out, and two on in the first inning, they trail three nothing. So Todd Harrington trying to work himself out of a two-on-nobody-out situation. Now two-on-two-out. 
And he gets a strike on the outside corner for uh, Jonathan Harrington. Nothing and one on him. So you got Todd Harrington pitching, Chad Harrington catching, and Jonathan Harrington at the plate. Pitch. Swing and a miss. Took something off that one, tailing away, and he has thrown five straight strikes right here and is one strike away from getting out of the inning without any trouble whatsoever. 0-2 comes in. Struck him out, swinging. Jammed Jonathan Harrington inside, and a strong effort by Todd Harrington to get out of trouble. No runs, one hit, no errors, two left. And after one, it's Arlington three and South Royalton nothing. Arlington. 3-0 for the Eagles of Arlington High School over the Royals of South Royalton. Arlington into this ball game, second seeded in the tournament, 16-1 on the season. And they've got a quick 3-0 lead as their first baseman, Jason Record, leads off here in the second. Pitch comes in and Record swings and misses. Strike one. Tough first inning on the hill for Robbie McShinsky. Giving up two hits. And uh, costly fielder's choice. There was an error behind him. Three runs scored. One ball, one strike now. They count on uh, record. Mike Lampron, the designated hitter on deck. There's a swing and a miss. One and two. After Lampron, it'll be the top of the batting order. And the left fielder, Jim Lane, who got it all started in the first inning with a single. Strike three called. Inside corner. And record is down on strikes. That's the third strikeout for Robbie McShinsky. One away and uh, Mike Lampron, the DH, is the hitter. Senior, and he takes a uh, pitch inside, one ball, no strikes. Lampron uh, plays some second base when he's not DHing. Where's the ever popular number 13 on his back? It's a strike. From Mikshinsky, one ball and one strike. Always like ball players that wear that number 13. Pitch missed off the inside corner, two and one. A little bit of notoriety, of course, involved in wearing that number, and it shows you're not afraid of that kind of thing. Two one pitch. Strike two call, got it on the outside corner. Mikshinsky right back even with him now, two balls and two strikes. And McShinsky appears to be a lot more confident out there in the second inning. Pitching, swing and a miss, strike three. He gets Lampron swinging. Fourth strikeout for McShinsky. He's had the last three. He had the final out of the first inning and the first two here in the second. We go to the top of the batting order and the left fielder Jim Lane, who got it all started in the first inning with a single, went to second on a wild pitch to third on a fielder's choice and scored on a double steal. Takes a strike, big and one. Pitch coming. Swing on and driven in the air deep to left field. The left fielder, Ballantyne, way back, and this one is gone out of here. Home run for Lane over the fence in left center field. It is 4-0 Arlington as Lane really teed off on that one. So Mr. Lane with a single and a home run, two runs scored. And Arlington is off and running. And McShinsky, who blew through the first two hitters in the inning, sees Lane take him deep. Lane somehow missed home plate, you may have noticed, on the way by the first time. It's not like they're going to retrieve the ball and tag him out, but he went out there and tagged the plate anyway. Two down, nobody on, and Arlington with a 4-0 lead as Coach Ballou comes out to talk to the home plate umpire, Frazier. I guess complaining about his missing the plate and going back to the dugout before he came back out to touch it. But as I said, the ball was over the fence. So there's not really a whole lot that uh, South Royalton could do right there. Four nothing game. Two out, nobody on, and the pitch missing inside to Pickering. One ball and no strikes. He grounded out first baseman to the pitcher, 
or a pitcher to first, I should say, his first time up there. Pitch comes in, and it's in for a strike called 1-1 one one on Hooper Pickering. The rain coming down now maybe just a little bit harder here at Centennial Field. Pitch missing off the inside corner, and it's 2-1 and one on Pickering. Weather forecast not real good heading into this one. 2-1 pitch, swung on, foul straight back. And the count even. Two balls, two strikes now on Pickering. McShinsky cruised through the first two hitters, got them both on strikes, then gives up the home run. Pitch comes and misses off the outside corner to Pickering, and it's full, three balls and two strikes. Three-two pitch. Missed inside, ball four. And the two-out walk. That is the first base on balls allowed by McShinsky. And with a runner at first and two down, D.J. Matthews, the center fielder, coming up. Matthew reached on a fielder's choice in the first inning and scored the second Arlington run. Swings and misses, pitch tailing away. Strike one on Matthew. Now Mikshinsky, the 0-1 pitch. Low, blocked by the catcher, Rickard, who finds it quickly. No advance, one ball and one strike. <laughs> Top of the second here. And Arlington off to an early lead. 1-1 pitch. Swing, popped up. First base side. First baseman up the line, avoids the runner, and Harrington catches the ball for the out to retire the side. But in the inning, one run on one base hit, no errors, one left, and in the middle of the second, it's Arlington four and South Royalton nothing. A four nothing Arlington lead and Jamie Kenny, the center fielder, will lead off for South Royalton. Then Brett Ballantyne and Dale Dickerson are the other scheduled hitters. Kenny, the center fielder, facing Harrington, and the pitch is swung on and missed strike one. Todd Harrington, two strikeouts in the first inning. Got into a situation of two on, nobody out, but got out of it. Now he's got a four-run lead to work with. Pitch in the dirt, blocked by the catcher, Chad Harrington, who comes up hurting a bit off that. Pitch bounced away about 25 feet off to the left. Might have caught Chad Harrington on the wrist or up on the side of the arm is where he's rubbing. One ball and one strike, the count on Kenny. Pitch comes in, and it's swung on a miss. Fastball away, one and two now on Kenny. Todd Harrington, 10 and 0 on the season for Arlington. Missed just off the outside corner, and the count goes even, two balls and two strikes. Right-hander kicks, throws, swing and a miss, strike three. And Harrington has his third strikeout in a row, third of the ball game, and there's one away here in the second inning. As the uh, left fielder, Brett Ballin, uh, Ballantyne, comes up. Ballantyne, another right-handed batter against the right-hander, Harrington. And the pitch is in. Fastball away on the outside corner for a strike called. It's nothing in one. A DH, Dale Dickerson do up next. A one pitch, sidearm, swung on and missed, strike two. He had Ballantyne feeling for that one as it tailed away on the outside corner. Two strikes on Ballantyne. Harrington right back and he went the same route, this time threw it way outside and on back to the screen. One ball, two strikes. Three, four runs, three hits for Arlington. No runs, one hit 
for Royalton and a strikeout again for Harrington as he gets Ballantyne swinging. Four strikeouts in a row now for Todd Harrington. Two away in the second inning. And the DH, Dale Dickerson coming up. Pitch comes in, and it's outside, but that's sidearm delivery for a ball. One ball and no strikes. You get the feeling that Coach Ballou and Royalton might be looking for a left-handed hitter or two. Pitch missing outside again. It's two and nothing. Might be looking for a left-handed hitter or two on that bench of his. Because Harrington looks awfully tough on right-handed hitters. Pitch comes in, swung out and missed. Two and one. State Championship Division Four Baseball at Centennial Field. Pitch swung on, ripped past the bag at third. That's a fair ball down the left field line. Dickerson takes the turn at first and will hold on there as the left fielder Lane retrieves the ball. And the two-out single by Dickerson brings the South Royalton fans out of their seats. There's the second hit given up by Harrington. That ends his streak of strikeouts at four in a row. And the right fielder, Ryan Harrington, will step in against the pitcher, Todd Harrington. I find myself wondering if all these Harringtons are related. Throw to first base, chasing the runner Dickerson back to the bag. Ah, one family is H-A, and the other family is H-E. Arlington's the H-E's. Pitch by Ryan, to Ryan Harrington is popped up down the left field line. Lane on the run into foul ground. It's a fair ball. He was in foul ground, but the ball fell in fair ground. And Ryan Harrington is on at first as Dale Dickerson advanced to second. Lane came in toward the line, appeared to have that one under control, but he overran it. He came in too far, had to reach back for the ball. I started to say foul because he was in foul ground, but when the ball came down, it fell fair. And runners are at first and second with two away, back to the top of the order for the pitcher, Mikshinsky, who singled his first time. Two on and two out. And the pitch outside for a ball. It is one and nothing. So by all rights, in that situation, pitcher Harrington should be in the dugout, but he's not. That's a base hit but one that should have been caught. Throw to first base, diving back safely is Ryan Harrington. And Todd Harrington back up on the hill with a one ball, no strike count on Mikshinsky. Dickerson the runner at second. Harrington the runner at first. The pitch is low. Two balls and no strikes now. On Robbie Mikshinsky. Ray Collins the shortstop due up next. Duo pitch, swung on, lifted in the air, foul off to the right side and off the roof of the LaPointe Fieldhouse down to the right. Two balls and one strike now on Mikshinsky. Here's Harrington set, the 2 1 pitch. Outside corner, a strike called, and he's back even, 2 and 2 now with Mikshinsky. Two balls, two strikes, two on, and two out in the second inning. 4 nothing, Arlington. Here's the pitch. And he got him swinging. Just kind of reaching at it. Mikshinsky down on strikes. And Todd Harrington strikes out the side. He gives up two hits in the inning, two left on. And after two, it is Arlington four and Seth Royalton nothing. We go to the top of the third inning now at Centennial Field with the Eagles of Arlington leading the Royals of South Royalton 4 0. Robbie Machinsky on the mound for the Royals. Over two innings has allowed three hits and four runs, only two of them earned. One walk, four strikeouts. He'll face Todd Harrington, Chad Harrington, and Scott Witt here in the third inning. Todd Harrington struck out swinging his first time. And he hits this one in the air toward left center field. The center fielder, Kenny, ranging over and back, leaps up at the last moment. He can't get it. It's over his head. Here's Harrington turning second. He's on his way to third, and he'll be in there standing up. Kenny kept ranging back on that ball. Finally seemed like he was in position to make the play out in left center field, but it was beyond his reach. We will score it as a triple for Harrington. 
And he is at third base with nobody out here in inning number three. And again, Coach Ballou out to talk to his ball club. As again, defensive problems have uh, been the root of their problem, and they are going to change pitchers right here. We'll get the number of the new young man on the hill. Looks like number 27 for South Royalton. That would be Ray Collins, who was the shortstop. Collins is going to come in and take over as the pitcher. So Collins moves to the hill. I didn't notice. I think McShinsky, yes, he did, went out and he is now playing shortstop. So they just flip flop positions. McShinsky goes to the shortstop position, and Collins will take over as the pitcher for the Royals. And for Robbie McShinsky, a tough two innings plus. Although, as we said, of the four runs he's been charged with so far, a couple of them were unearned. He's given up four hits and four runs, two of them earned, one walk, four strikeouts, and he leaves with one runner. That Chad Harrington at third base, his responsibility. And uh, it will be, or check that, Todd Harrington is the runner at uh, third base, who led with the triple here in this inning. Todd Harrington at third, the responsibility of McShinsky as Collins takes over, and he'll pitch to Chad Harrington. Four nothing game, runner at third, and nobody out as the infield is halfway in here. Pitch on the way, and the breaking ball in the dirt, bouncing on by to the screen, and on to score comes Harrington. It is five nothing Arlington. Wild pitch. by Collins on his first pitch. And a 5-0 Arlington lead, a one ball, no strike count on Chad Harrington. Don't know if the soggy conditions or slightly soggy conditions out there are affecting South Royalton. Yes, they should be affecting both clubs if they're affecting one of them. One ball, no strike pitch. Breaking ball over for a strike called. It is one and one now on Chad Harrington. Right-hander Collins pitches. Breaking ball and just a little piece for Harrington. Fouls it back. One ball, two strikes the count. One two pitch comes in, swung on, ground ball toward the left side. Ainsworth comes in for the slow roller, throws in time for the out one away. Harrington retired 4 3. One out for Arlington in the third, and Scott with the shortstop coming up. He singled, knocked in a run with an RBI single in the first inning. So he's one for one. A five-run lead for the Eagles of Royal of uh, Arlington here in inning number three. They're up 5 nothing. Pitch comes in, swung on and hit in the air. Short center field, long run in, and he's not going to get there. It falls in for the base hit. Kenny comes up with the ball, plays it back in. And on it first with the single is Witt. He's two for two. Runner at first with one down. And Corey White, the second baseman, coming up. He struck out swinging in the first inning. A little problem there is Arlington coach Tim Stewart came out with a question for Frazier, the plate umpire. Don't know exactly what the problem was, but it appears they've got it squared away. And with one out, no runner at first, Corey White up there. Collins sets, pitches, breaking ball. He missed off the inside corner. One ball and no strikes. Would appear that that is Collins' forte. He likes to go to that slow breaking stuff. 
Right-hander pitches. Goes with a fastball there. One hopper back to the mound. Fielded by the pitcher Collins. Throws to first for the out. They then go down to second base, but not in time as Witt advances. Collins quickly went to first base. Didn't think about trying to knock down the lead runner right there, but he got the sure out on White, 1-3. And with two away and a runner at second, Jason Record, the first baseman coming up. He was called out on strikes, leading off in the second inning. Bats now with two out and a runner at second here in the third. Pitch coming. Breaking ball on the outside corner for a strike called. It's nothing and one. Lead off triple by Todd Harrington here in the third. He scored on a wild pitch. The fifth Arlington run. Here's a ground ball in the hole. Right field, base hit. Coming to third base is Witt. He turns and will head for home. The throw comes in, not in time. And it is six nothing Arlington as record comes through with the RBI single. And the Eagles right now are pounding the baseball pretty good. That is their third hit of the inning and sixth of the ball game. Second hit allowed since coming into the ball game, or since coming on as pitcher here by Collins. Mike Lampron, the DH up, he struck out swinging in the second inning. Three in the first, a run in the second, two more here in the third for Arlington. For the first base and bounces off the glove a couple of feet away from the first baseman Harrington over there. Two out, runner at first. And Lampron in there. For the first again, and once more, record dives back in safely. Now the set. Pitch by Collins, low and away. Backhanding it out there and firing it back to the mound. The catcher, record. One ball, no strikes. We continue to play an off again, on again showers here at Centennial Field. Pitch on the way. And it's off the outside corner for a ball. Two and nothing now on the DH Mike Lampron. Top of the batting order, Jim Lane with a single and a home run waiting on deck. Throw over to first base. Again, back there safely, easily. That time was record. Two balls, no strikes the count. Here's Collins down to the belt and the pitch. And he missed inside and hit the batter off the back of Lampron, and he'll go to first base. Hit by a pitch. Down to second goes record. And we go back to the top of the batting order for Jim Lane, who singled, went to second on a wild pitch, went to third on a fielder's choice, and stole home in the first inning. And then in the second inning, he eliminated all that tomfoolery by hitting one over the fence and left center field for a home run. He's two for two with two runs scored. And again, we have conferences. The Off the infield of South Royalton, talking to Coach Ballou in the infield grass. And there you look at the Arlington offensive assemblage, conferring with Coach Stewart off the first uh, third base line. Two out, two on, and two runs in here in the third inning. For Arlington, and number two, Lane, is at the plate. As we said, he's having a good night. Here's Collins, ready. Pitching and missing outside. One ball, no strikes. Collins came on here in this third inning, replacing Mashinsky after Todd Harrington led this inning with a triple. Collins pitches, and it's in for a strike call, one and one. Hooper Pickering would be next if given the chance here in the third. Now the set, and Collins pitch, and that just missed. Collins wanted that one, just missed off the outside corner. Two balls and a strike now on Lane.
Collins ready. 2-1 pitch. Swung on and missed. Took something off. Pitch on the inside corner. Had a lane out in front of it. 2-2. Two and two. So Collins can get out of further difficulty with another strike right here. Two across the board. Two balls, two strikes, two out, two on. Number two at the plate. And Lane will back out on Collins here. Right-handed hitter back in. Collins sights in with Rickard. He's ready. And the 2-2 pitch comes in. And it's outside ball three. And the count full. Three and two. So Lane will have the runners going as he sees this pitch come in. Lampron at first and Rickard at second will be on the move. Here's Collins. He's ready. Here's the three. No, he spins, picks the runner off at second base. The throw back down to third. In the rundown is record. Turns, comes back to third. Died to dive around the tag, but couldn't get it done, and he is tagged out. So the pickoff gets the Royals out of any further difficulty. However, in the inning, more damage done as far as Arlington is concerned. They scored two runs on one, two, three base hits. No errors, one left. And after two and a half, it's six nothing Arlington. At Centennial Field, we go to the bottom half of the third inning. South Royals are trailing six to nothing. And here is Ray Collins taking a strike from Todd Harrington. It's on the outside corner, nothing in one. Collins was hit by a pitch in the first inning. Started as the shortstop and now doing the pitching for South Royalton. Arlington with a big lead, 6-0 in the bottom of the third. Right-hander Harrington throws and misses off the inside corner. One ball and one strike on Collins. Dusty Rickard and Andy Trottier to follow here in the third. Pitch on the way, swung on, hit in the air, foul off to the right, and that'll make the roof of the field house, in fact, over it, and out into the trees down on the right side. A ball and two strikes on Ray Collins. One, two from Harrington. Swung on, hit in the air, right field. The right fielder going back white and toward the line, and he gloves it. Toward the line, it's pulled in. By the right fielder, Steve White, there's one away. Took him a moment or two to track that one, but once he got the line, he ran it down and picked it off without too much trouble toward the line. One away as Collins is retired, and Dusty Rickert, the catcher, coming up. Rickert reached on a base on balls back in the first inning. Takes the first pitch on the inside corner, a strike call, nothing in one. No balls and a strike. Pitch by Harrington, swing and a miss. Nothing in two now on Rickard. Harrington not wasting any time, and he just missed with that one. Maybe a little high. A ball and two strikes now on Rickard. Harrington right back, swing and a foul, straight back to the screen. Count holding at one ball and two strikes. Friday night at Centennial Field and the Division IV State Championship of Vermont High School Baseball on the line. One hopper, past the third baseman, and in the left field, that'll be a base hit as Rickard takes the turn and holds on. That, my friends, to dig out cliche number 207 in the book of cliches for sportscasters is why they call it the hot corner. Because that one got down to uh, Mr. Pickering in no time flat. He got a glove on it, slowed it, but was unable to come up with it. Rickard has the one out base hit. And here's the third baseman, Andy Trottier, who struck out swinging in the first inning. Runner at first with one down. The Royals down by six. Got to get base runners right here. 
They have one of them. Pitch low and away. Backhanded out of the dirt by catcher Chad Harrington. One ball, no strikes. Trottier. Out of a crouch, throw to first base, and back into the bag, record safely. You wouldn't think down by six runs that you'd have to think too much about uh, Rickert being uh, in a running situation right here, but Harrington goes over there again. One ball, no strikes the count. Pitch from Harrington. Thinking about it was Trottier, but he lets it go, and it's high. Two balls and no strikes. Two and nothing on Andy Trottier. Throw to first again, and Rickard, not much of a lead, back safely and easily. Two balls, no strikes. Here's the set and the pitch. Taken high, ball three. And exactly what Todd Harrington does not want to do, he is one pitch away from doing right here, which is putting the man on base with a base on balls. Three and nothing. Harrington ready, squaring around and taking ball four is Trottier. Rickert down to second, Trottier on first with a one-out walk. And with runners at first and second and one out, Jonathan Harrington, the first baseman coming up, he struck out in the first inning. South Royalton has not scored, but they have had base runners. They've left two in each of the first two innings. And they've got two on now with one out. They trail by six runs. The set by Todd Harrington. And the pitch. And it missed. Outside, one ball and no strikes. That walk to Trottier was the second walk allowed by Harrington and now he's gone behind one ball no strikes on Jonathan Harrington pitch and missed high and he wants to know where it was as coach Stewart comes out to the infield he'll come out to the mound to talk to his pitcher who was visibly upset on that last call and coach Ballou will take the opportunity to gather his forces along the first base side we have had more conferences in three innings in this game and I've seen all season. Two balls and no strikes the count on Jonathan Harrington. Two on and one out for the Royals who trail six to nothing here in the bottom of the third. Everyone back to their positions, offense and defense. And Todd Harrington studies brother Chad for the sign right here. Squaring around, probably just to make him pitch, and it's a strike. Jonathan Harrington squared around, flexed the bat a little bit. I don't think he had any intention of offering, and he took the strike. Two balls and a strike the count. Jamie Kenny, the center fielder on deck. 2-1 pitch, in for a strike. And Todd Harrington right back with him. Two balls and two strikes. Two and two with two on and one away. Todd Harrington ready. Pitches. And Jonathan Harrington strikes out swinging. Second time he has done that. And that is the sixth strikeout for Todd Harrington. Two away with two on for the Royals here on the third. And the batter is Jamie Kenny, the center fielder, who struck out swinging in the second inning. The pitch. Outside for a ball. One and nothing. Kenny back in from the right side. Harrington's pitch. Taken high. Two and nothing. On deck, the left fielder, Brett Ballantyne. Set by Harrington. 2 0 pitch on the way. And it's outside and low, ball three. And now he is a pitch away from loading the bases. 
three and nothing on Kenny. The set. 3 0 pitch by Harrington. And showing bunt, taking the pitch was Kenny. It's on the inside corner for a strike. Three and one. Three one pitch. Taken ball four. And Harrington, not happy at all with the call, walks off the mound. The bases are full of Royals with two out here in the third inning. And here is Brett Ballantyne, the left fielder. He struck out swinging in the second inning. Well, the Royals down by six runs, but they can't say they haven't had their chances. As we said, they left two in the first, two in the second. Now they've got them loaded here in the third, and Ballantyne takes ball one. And again, Harrington says, where was the pitch? And gets a bit of a warning for his efforts from home plate umpire Frazier. One ball, no strike pitch. Swing and a miss. One and one on Ballantyne. One, one pitch. Swing and a miss, strike two. Went away with the fastball, and now Harrington up on the count of all and two strikes. Opportunity for the Royals to get back into it. Swung on, line foul to the sideline down by the uh, locker room, down by the uh, field house on the first base side. And the count holds on Ballantyne and the ball in two strikes. Rickert the runner at third, Trottier the runner at second, Kenny the runner at first, two down. Pitch comes in, swing and a miss, strike three. And Harrington gets out of it recording his seventh strikeout of the ball game in the process. No runs on one hit, no errors, and three left on. Through three innings, South Royalton is left seven. After three, it is Arlington six, South Royalton nothing. Top of the fourth inning at Centennial Field, 6-0 Arlington. The Eagles with six runs on uh, six hits in those first three innings of play. South Royalton, no runs on four hits. Through three innings, the Royals have left seven. They're down six runs as Jim Lane at the top of the batting order leads off here against Ray Collins, who gets the bender in for a strike call, nothing in one. Lane was left at the plate in the third inning when Jason Record was picked off second base to end the inning. Lane with a single and a home run. He scored two of the six Arlington runs. And backs out. No balls and one strike, the count. Collins, who came on in relief in the third inning. Into the wind of the pitch. Swing and the ball is popped up. Shallow center field, the second baseman having problems with the right fielder coming on, and it is Harrington, the right fielder, who makes the catch for the out one away. The second baseman, Ainsworth, stumbled as he started back after that ball, but the right fielder, Ryan Harrington, came on to take care of it. There's one away. So that's the first time they've gotten a lane out tonight. And Hooper Pickering, the first baseman, come up, comes up. He grounded out in the first inning and walked in the second. 0 for 1 officially. Swings, and it's the first pitch in the air foul. The catcher, Rickert, back under it and makes the catch for the out. He held it long enough, dropped it afterward as he bumped into a teammate over there, but held on long enough for the out. And there were two down quickly for Arlington here in the fourth inning. As D.J. Matthew, the center fielder, comes up, Matthew reached on a fielder's choice, scored on the first inning, and popped to the first baseman in the second. He is 0 for 2 officially, but has a run scored. And Collins into the line, pitches, and that's popped up. Foul ground off first. The catcher, Rickard, after this, he's got it. And the first 1 2 3 inning of the ball game. The Eagles go in order, and after three and a half, it's six nothing Arlington. To the top of the fourth inning we go. South Royalton 
or actually to the bottom of the fourth inning we go. South Royalton trailing Arlington by a score of six to nothing. And the Royals come up with their designated hitter Dale Dickerson to lead off. Uh, then the right fielder Ryan Harrington and the top of the batting order and the shortstop Robbie McShinsky. Dickerson with a single, two out single in the second inning and the pitch up and in as he gets down out of the way. One ball and no strikes. Todd Harrington on the mound for Arlington has been in trouble throughout but has worked out of it. Pitches and a swing and a miss. One and one on Dickerson. Royals have four hits. They have left seven men on base through the first three. But they have yet to score. Pitch swung on, popped up. Left side, the shortstop Witt back under this on the edge of the grass, one out. Dickerson pops to short, one out in the fourth inning. And Ryan Harrington, the right fielder coming up, he's singled in the second inning. Harrington in from the right side. Swings, will piece, foul back to the screen. Strike one. Right-hander Harrington pitches. And that just missed. And again, Harrington, the long look into Frazier after the call. One ball, one strike. Pitch by Harrington, way outside, two and one. Mikshinsky on deck. Pitch swung on again, fouled back to the screen by Ryan Harrington. The count goes even, two balls, two strikes. Earlier today on this field, Northfield won the Division Three championship beating Enosburg. What's significant in regard to this game is the South Royalton team beat Northfield twice during the season. Pitch foul back to the screen. And the count holds two and two on Ryan Harrington. Now Chad Harrington pitching, missed outside, on back to the screen it goes, and the count is full, three and two on Ryan Harrington. Into the line, the pitch, so on line foul off to the right out of play. Chad Harrington has walked three. He has struck out seven through the first three and a third innings of this one. Allowed four hits and to this point no runs. Into the line, 3-2. And he got Ryan Harrington swinging. Eight strikeout for Todd Harrington. Two out, nobody on to the top of the batting order and Robbie Mikshinsky. Mikshinsky who started as the pitcher now playing shortstop, he's been up twice, singled in the first inning, struck out swinging in the second inning. One for two. Pitch up and in, one ball, no strikes. In the first inning, he led with a single. Went to second when Collins was hit by a pitch, but then McShinsky was thrown out stealing. Pitch swung on, fouled off to the right side. A ball and a strike on McShinsky. After Mikshinsky was out stealing, Dusty Rickert walked. Matrottier and Harrington both struck out to end the inning. 1-1 one, one pitch on the outside corner for a strike call that is 1-2 on Mikshinsky. One, 1-2 on the way. Swan chopped foul down the first base side. Count holds at a ball and two strikes on McShinsky. Six nothing Arlington, bottom of the fourth inning. Now Todd Harrington pitching. 
And got him looking. Strike three call and Mikshinsky. This time not happy with the call. Ninth strikeout recorded by Harrington. Three up, three down for South Royalton. And after four, it's Arlington six and South Royalton nothing. We go to the top of the fifth inning. Arlington with a six nothing lead on the Royals of South Royalton. And for the Eagles, it is Todd Harrington, the pitcher to lead it off. He has struck out swinging and tripled. He scored a run in the third inning. And the pitch from Collins misses outside. One ball and no strikes. It was after the leadoff triple by Harrington in the third that Coach Ballou of South Royalton switched Collins and McShinsky. Moved McShinsky out to shortstop and put Collins on the hill. One ball, no strikes on Harrington. Harrington scored on Collins' first pitch, which was a wild pitch inside. He scored him to make it 4-0 uh, at that point. Pitches in or make it 5-0 at that point. One ball, one strike now on Harrington. Collins right back. And took something off the breaking ball. Had Harrington all tied up. And it's in for a strike, one and two. One, two pitch. Swing on, pop to the air, down the right field line. It's going to be a foul ball, and it's going to fall into play. Count holds at one ball and two strikes on Todd Harrington. Now the look in and the pitch by Ray Collins. Swing on, fouled straight back. So Harrington hanging tough at one ball and two strikes. Chad Harrington and Scott Witt to follow here in the fifth inning. And again, foul ball back. Count holds. One and two on Todd Harrington. Here's Collins from the wind. Swung on and driven in the air to left field. Racing after the ball, the left fielder, he cannot reach it. It is by him, backed up by the center fielder, Kenny. He fires in, and Todd Harrington has double. Ballantyne, the left fielder, made a strong effort for the ball, reached for it, but it was just beyond his reach. Good job by Kenny to back up and hold Harrington to a double. So after striking out on the first inning, Harrington has come back with first a triple and now a double. He is at second with nobody out. And uh, the catcher, Chad Harrington, is coming up. Harrington reached on an error by the shortstop of the first inning and grounded out second to first in the third. He's officially 0 for 2. And leading 6-0, the Eagles in business here in the fifth inning. Well, the runner at second and nobody out. Here's Collins from the set. Squaring is Chad Harrington. Did he offer? Yes, he did, says the first base umpire. Strike one. No balls and a strike on Chad Harrington. Collins checks Todd Harrington at second and the pitch again squaring Chad Harrington takes it outside a ball and a strike one and one Collins tosses it back to second base second baseman Harrington was well off the bag or check out second baseman Ainsworth. They're Harrington's everywhere. I'm starting to define them in the wrong places. It's Ainsworth, the second baseman, ducking in behind Harrington. The bunt by Chad Harrington up the first base side. Good play to stab it by Collins. Throws to the first baseman covering for the out. Sacrifice for Chad Harrington. 
score at 1-3 as over to third base with one out is Todd Harrington. And the shortstop Scott Whip coming up. He singled, knocked in a run in the first inning and singled again, scored a run in the third. He's two for two. Runner at third, one out for Arlington here in the fifth inning. They've got a 6-0 lead and bidding to increase it here as the infield comes up. Tight on the right side, three quarters in on the left side. And the throw by Collins over to the third baseman Trottier. Back safely is Harrington. That's the way that uh, Royalton sets up in this situation. They bring the third baseman Trottier in and have him hold the runner on third. Pitch, and it's high from Collins. One ball, no strikes on Witt. Interesting bit of strategy. It keeps the runner closer, certainly at third base, but at the same time, it also opens up a hole in that left side of the infield for the ground ball. Throw to third again, and back in standing up is Chad Harrington. One ball, no strike count here on Scott Witt. Pitch low, and it's two and nothing. Corey White, the second baseman, do up next. Right-hander pitching, and it's in for a strike call from Collins to Witt, two and one. Now Collins from the belt, the two one, and he bunted at it, didn't get it. The suicide squeeze not working. Here's Harrington in the rundown. Throw to the pitcher, Collins covering, and they tag him out. So the suicide squeeze was on, and Witt did not get the bat on the baseball. Harrington is out. And now there are two out with nobody on at a two-ball, two-strike count on Witt. Witt not happy with himself. But that kind of thing hurts a whole lot less in a 6 nothing game when you're in front than it might under other circumstances. Two balls, two strikes now on Witt. Here's Collins in the windup. The pitch swung on and fouled straight back to the screen. And the count holds at two balls and two strikes. Our off again, on again rain is just about stopped here at Centennial Field. 2 2 pitch, swung on, bouncing ball, foul past the bag at third. Count holds, two and two on Witt. As we said, it really hasn't been a, enough of a rain to really be a factor in the ball game. It's kind of wet the infield down. Two and two on Witt with two away here in the fifth. Pitch comes in, missed inside as Witt skips away, and the count's full now at three balls and two strikes. Corey White, the second baseman, do up next. Three two pitch, and it's in for strike three call. Witt out looking, and the side retired. No runs despite the leadoff double. Nobody left, and in the middle of the fifth, it remains Arlington six and South Royalton nothing. We go to the last of the fifth. South Royalton needs some runs. They are down six to nothing. And they come up with two, three, four in the batting order. Ray Collins, Dusty Rickard, and Andy Trottier against Todd Harrington. Harrington has worked through four innings, allowing a total of four hits and no runs. He's walked three and struck out two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Breaking ball missed inside and high. One ball, no strikes on Collins, who uh, was hit by a pitch in the first inning and flied to right in the third. Pitch on the way, and it's on the outside corner for a strike called. It's one and one. Todd Harrington pitching, and the bender missed inside. And it's two and one on Rickert, or on uh, Collins, I should say. Rickert waiting on deck.
Just a very light mist falling out there as you look up at the uh, lights on the outfield. Two balls and a strike. Pitch coming. Swung on, hit in the air, right center field. The center fielder Matthew back and over and can't get it. It's by him and all the way to the wall. Here is Collins coming to second, takes the turn. He'll go for three and he will be there standing up as the third baseman Hooper Pickering goes over to run down the throw. A leadoff triple for Collins here in the fifth inning. He stands at third with nobody out and Dusty Rickert, the catcher, coming up. Rickert walked in the first inning and singled in the third, so he's one for one. That the fifth base hit allowed by Harrington. Pitch to Rickert, swung on, hit of the air, foul off to the right side, and that's in the seats, and one hop out of the seats on the first base side. Strike one. One strike pitch comes in, and it's high. One and one on record. Third baseman Andy Trottier do up next here in the fifth. Pitch comes in. Outside ball two. Two and one now. On the South Royalton catcher. Two one pitch. Swing and a miss. I got a little piece of it. Uh, no indication from the umpire. Two and two. Two balls, two strikes on record. And he foul tipped it, unable to hold on, was catcher Chad Harrington. And the count holds, two balls and two strikes. Harrington right back, breaking ball, missed high and inside, and the count goes full, three and two on Rickard. Three balls, two strikes, runner at third, nobody out. Infield back all the way around for Arlington. They'll give up the run. Pitch swung on, pop foul off to the right. That's out of play. And the count holds at three and two on Rickard. Now Harrington winding, 3-2 pitch, swung on, hit in the air off the first base side. First baseman record in foul ground, has room and makes the catch for the out. No tag at third base by Collins. He holds on there. Rickert fouls to the first baseman. And there is one out in the fifth inning for South Royalton as Andy Trottier, the third baseman, comes up. Trottier struck out swinging in the first inning and walked in the third. He's 0 for 1. So Trottier in there with one away. And as Harrington started into his motion, Trottier backs out on him. Now the right-hander sets and pitches. And it's down low inside. One ball, no strikes. Harrington back up on top, pitches. Trottier hits the ball high in the air, foul down the left field line, and that is going to fall uh, just beyond somebody's car down there out of play. One ball, one strike. The count on Trottier. Harrington winds. Squaring around, the butt is down, and it is a foul ball. The suicide squeeze was on as Collins came charging in from third. Trottier got the bat on the ball, bunted it foul. One ball, two strikes the count. When was the last time you saw a team suicide squeeze when they're down six to nothing? For that matter, when they're ahead six to nothing. Good point. But the Royals are down 6-0, and they had that runner coming home. 
A ball and two strikes. Pitch on the way. Swing on, hit in the air in the infield or very shallow outfield. Shortstop wit out, third baseman Pickering. It's Pickering who makes the catch. The runner is coming and the throw to the plate. He is a dead duck. They had Collins coming in on the short pop down the left field line. And he is out, left fielder to the catcher, seven to two to re uh, make that third baseman to the catcher, five to two to retire the side. No runs on a hit and nobody left. And after five, it is six nothing Arlington. Now well, it's the top of the sixth inning at Centennial Field. The Eagles of Arlington High School still with a six nothing lead on the Royals of South Royalton. And the second baseman, Corey White, to lead off against Ray Collins. And then Jason Record and Mike Lampron, the do hitters. Bottom third of the order for the Eagles, who have a 6 nothing lead. Collins into the wide of the pitch. And the breaking ball's in for a strike call. Nothing and one on Corey White. White tonight has struck out swinging and grounded out pitcher to first. He's 0 for 2. Pitch on the way. Swing and a miss. Tied him up inside. And quickly he's down two strikes. Nothing into the count on White. Here is Collins back. And he got him swinging. Foul tipped into the mitt. Strike three. And White a strikeout victim. Since coming into the ball game in relief, or moving from shortstop to the mound in relief. Ray Collins has recorded two strikeouts. The last two batters. He got Witt to end the fifth. And White here for the first out on the sixth. One away and Jason Record, the third baseman up. He was called out on strikes in the second inning. Singled in the third. One for two tonight. Pitched by Collins and floated it inside. One ball, no strikes. Right hander into the wide. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball missed off the inside corner. Two and nothing on record. Right hander Collins pitches and fired one that just missed off the inside corner. Fastball three and nothing. Collins a little concerned about where that pitch was. Into the wide. There's a strike. Fastball right over. Three balls and one strike on record. Pitch. Low inside ball four. So after a couple of strikeouts. Charge Collins with a base on balls right there. And as we quickly check back through our scorecard, that's the first walk that he's allowed since taking over on the mound. Runner at first with one out. And a pitch outside and beyond the dive of the catcher Rickard. And down to second base on the wild pitch goes Rickard. Wild pitch by Collins puts Rickard in scoring position with one out, a one ball, no strike count on Mike Lampron. Lampron the DH tonight. He struck out swinging in the second and was hit by a pitch in the third. Bats here with one on and one out on the sixth. Collins, the long look in, down to the belt, the 1-0, strike call, fastball over, one ball, one strike now. One-one pitch, breaking ball, and that had Lampron fishing. A ball and two strikes. Jim Lane, the left fielder on deck. Collins, the one two. And that just missed. Count goes even. Two balls and two strikes. One two pitch. Floats it outside. And the count full now. Three and two on Lampron.
Record the winner at second, one out. Here's the set by Collins. One, two pitch, or three, two pitch, and it's down low, ball four. And now it is Collins' turn to complain to the plate umpire, Frazier. Second walk in a row allowed by Collins. And we go back to the top of the batting order for Jim Lane. Lane singled in the first inning, scored a run, homered in the second over the fence in left center, and then flied to right in the fourth. He's two for three. Two on and one out for Arlington here in the sixth. They lead it 6 nothing. Runners take their leads. Pitch on the way. Swing and a miss. Strike one on Lane. Collins down to the belt, pitches, swing and a miss as he had Lane lunging out at a sweeping breaking ball. And Collins ahead on the count, two strikes here. Collins likes to go to that sidearm sweeping delivery. One two comes over the top of the fastball and Lane fights it off inside fouls it off with the inside out swing down the first base side and the count holds at one ball and two strikes. Lane back in there. Collins spins around throws to the second baseman Ainsworth who was two or three steps off the bag. But the desired effect is recorded as record <laughs> recorded effect back to the bag. Two strike pitch about to come to lane. Here it is. And he popped it up. Foul ground off third coming over Trottier. Long run. The catcher over as well, but it's in the seats. Just did make it a couple of rows up beyond the dugout. And they'll do it over again. Two strikes the count on lane. Lots and lots and lots of foul ground here at Centennial Field. On both the first and third base sides, there is all kinds of room to run. But not quite enough that time for Trottier or for Ricker. 0-2 pitch again to Lane. Breaking ball, bounce to the third baseman, right through his legs and down the left field line, around third and on his way home is record. He will score, runners at first and second at seven and nothing. That'll be an error charged to the third baseman. Just didn't get down quite enough on that one. The ball stayed down. He was looking for a little bit of a hop. Didn't get it. It stayed down right between the wickets. And Lane reaches on an error charge to the third baseman. No RBI as record comes around to score. It's seven or nothing. Down to second base is Lampron, and with runners at first and second, one out. Hooper Pickering at the third baseman up. And he just got a piece of it off the end of the bat, rolled it foul over toward the South Royalton dugout. Strike one. Pickering tonight grounded out, pitcher to first, walked, and fouled to the catcher. 0 for 2 officially. Two on and one out. And the breaking ball is off the outside corner. And the count, one ball and one strike now on Pickering. So Arlington adding another run. And they've got a seven-run cushion now to work with here in the sixth inning. Pitch on the way. And it's on the outside corner. Fastball, Pickering knew it. One ball, two strikes now on it. Collins right back up and in and down goes Pickering. The count goes even two balls and two strikes. Starting off the inning, Collins struck out white. But then he walked record. He walked Lampron and the error on the lane ground ball is allowed to run to score. 2 2 pitch off the outside corner and low ball three and it's a full count three and two on Pickering. Three balls, two strikes, one out. 
Be interesting. Up seven runs here. We'll see how Coach Stewart elects to play this. Three and two. Do you start the runners? Set by Collins. They do not go, and the pitch is popped foul off the first base side. Rickert, the catcher of the long run, won't get there. Hits on the track in front of the South Royalton dugout. And the count holds three and two on Pickering. Three and two with one away. Collins sights in with his catcher Rickard. Three two pitch swung on little roller to the right side of the infield. The first baseman comes up with it goes to second gets the force back to first not in time. Ranging far to his right the first baseman Harrington. That's Jonathan Harrington came up with the ball. Now we got a runner and a rundown. Another runner heading for the plate. The runner in the rundown goes safely into second base and home to score on the play is Lambron. And it is eight to nothing. South Royalton got a little bit careless after the fielder's choice. Pickering broke off the bag at first, got himself into a rundown, got himself out of the rundown. And meanwhile, Lampron came home to score. It is eight to nothing. Fielder's choice, 1-6, knocking down the lead runner Lane at second base. As Lampron went over to third. But then Pickering got himself into a rundown between first and second base. And as he slipped through the rundown safely into second base, home to score came Lampron. So it is eight to nothing. With a runner at second base. And two out here. And the batter will be DJ Matthew, the center fielder. As South Royalton coach Jim Ballou again gathers his troops at the mound. And he is a teaching coach. Let's face it, they screwed up the play right there. And he gets them all together and they try to straighten out what they did wrong. However, they're now in much more difficulty. They're down 8 nothing. Well, the runner at second and two out here in the sixth inning. Matthew up takes high for a ball. Matthew tonight has reached on a fielder's choice, scored a run, popped to the first baseman and fouled to the catcher. 0 for 3 officially. He's got a run. Pitch on the way. Matthew drives the ball down the left field line in the air. It is a fair ball and bouncing past the left fielder, Ballantyne. Around third and on to score comes Pickering, and in at second, Matthew with a double. It is nine to nothing. So Matthew joins the hit parade with a double to left field. And Pickering is home to score. And a couple of walks to start the inning. Very, very costly here for South Royalton. Those two guys have scored. Another man has scored. And that double, interestingly enough, with three runs in this inning, that double was the first base hit of the inning for Arlington. Pitch by Collins outside. Rickard out to block it in the dirt. One ball, no strikes. Todd Harrington at the plate. The pitcher, after striking out in the first inning, has tripled and doubled his next two times up. He's two for three. Nine runs on eight hits now for Arlington. Pitch by Collins. Floats it on the outside corner for a strike called, and it's... Scoreboard has two and one. I guess that's right. Two balls and a strike on Todd Harrington. Pitch in the dirt, blocked by Rickert. And the count will go to three and one now. Chad Harrington on deck. Now the set by Collins and the pitch. And it's outside and low ball four. And Todd Harrington reaches on the third walk of the inning. 
quickly going back through our statistical sheet here. A little quick math on my part. One out, two out. Be three out. All the runs in this inning, as I do a little quick math here, are unearned. The error by the third baseman Lane with what would have been the second out of the inning. Pickering then hit into a fielder's choice for what would have been the third out of the inning. So all the runs in this inning unearned. Two on and two out. Chad Harrington up, takes a ball. One ball, no strikes. In the inning, Record and Lampron walked after one out. Lane reached on the error by the third baseman Trottier. And a fielder's choice. There's a strike, one and one. Pickering, a fielder's choice, a run scored. Pickering then got into a rundown. And as that was botched up by South Royalton, Lampron scored the second run of the inning. Matthew then doubled home Pickering. And Harrington has walked. Todd Harrington at first base. Chad Harrington at the plate takes ball two. Two balls and a strike. Pitch on the way. Swung on, hit in the air, foul off the right field side. And the count, two balls and two strikes on Chad Harrington. Harrington tonight reached on an error in the first inning, grounded out second to first in the third, and sacrificed in the fifth. Now Collins from the set, pitches, and it's high. And the count is full, three and two, so the runners here, Matthew at second and Harrington at first will be on the, well, on the run right here. Set by Collins, and the three, two. And it's swung on and lined in the air to left field. That is gonna be in the gap, bouncing for a base hit. One run scores. Here's Todd Harrington around third coming to the plate. He will score. Chad Harrington has doubled, and it is 11 to nothing. RBI double for Chad Harrington. That's his first hit of the ball game. Matthew home to score. Todd Harrington home to score. And Arlington. Just really laying it to South Royalton now here in the sixth inning. It is 11 to nothing. South Royalton has scored five runs on two hits, two walks, and an error. And a fielder's choice here in the sixth inning. Another conference, and we may have a new pitcher coming into the ball game. The left fielder, Ballantyne, is being motioned in by Coach Ballou. We also have some activity down in the bullpen. A couple of kids throwing on the side, but they just started to throw. And we see catcher Rickard is taking off the tools of ignorance over in front of the dugout. So maybe it's Rickard who's gonna pitch. Maybe Ballantyne will catch. We'll have to see how they sort all this out. But with two out in the sixth inning, they have gotten to Collins. Collins came on in the third Worked that inning, worked effectively through the fourth and the fifth. Got the first man on strikes here in the sixth, then a couple of walks, an error, fielder's choice, and a couple of doubles have done him in. Now we see Rickert coming back out. He's going to pitch. So, number 26, Dusty Rickert, who has been the catcher, will become the pitcher. For the Royals. We come back now and the new pitcher into the ball game for the Royals of South Royalton is the guy who was the catcher. Dusty Rickert takes over as the pitcher. Left fielder Brett Ballantyne moves in to catch and Ray Collins who started the game at shortstop then pitched for a while is now going to play in left field. So those are the changes for South Royalton. It'll be a frustrated and a little bit testy group out there right now. The Royals, 15 and three, coming into the ball game. They were the fourth seeds of the tournament, knocked off the top seeds, Whitcomb in the semifinals, to get here to the championship game as the home team. But it has not gone their way tonight. They're down 11 to nothing to the Eagles. Got a pinch runner going in out at second base. 
or is that someone just coming back out on the field? No, indeed, it is a pinch runner at second base for Arlington. Number eight, Mike Miro into the ball game. He'll run at second for Chad Harrington. And I believe we are just about ready to go. Scott Witt will be the first hitter to face Rickard with a runner at second, two out here in the sixth and an 11-nothing lead for Arlington. Witt tonight has singled, singled again and been called out on strikes. He has scored a run and knocked one in. So here's Rickard on the mound and Witt in the box with two out and a runner at second. Pitch on the way, swung on, hit in the air, in the infield. Second baseman Ainsworth under this makes the catch. And it took one pitch for Rickert to end the inning. Much damage done, however, in that inning by Arlington. They score five runs on two hits. There was one error, and all five runs will be unearned. And one man left on base. Middle of the sixth, it's 11 0 Arlington. Bottom half of the sixth inning now at Centennial Field, the longest of roads back for the Royals of South Royalton. They trail Arlington 11 to nothing. And Jonathan Harrington, the first baseman, will lead off. Harrington tonight has struck out swinging twice, 0 for 2. And it's left to Todd Harrington with an 11-run lead to just throw strikes at this point. Delivers and throws a ball down and away. One ball and no strikes. Harrington has settled down pretty much over the last couple of innings. He was in all kinds of trouble in the first three, but worked out of it. One hopper back to the mound. Harrington has this. Goes to the first baseman. Almost threw it away, but a good play by record to stretch and grab it. One away. Jonathan Harrington out one, three, or one to three. And the center fielder, Jamie Kenny, coming up. Kenny struck out swinging in the second, and he uh, walked in the third. So 0 for 1 officially tonight. Swings and misses strike one. As we said, Todd Harrington had all kinds of base runners to deal with in the first three innings. There's a strike, nothing in two. But he got out of it, left two on in the first, left two more on in the second, and left the bases loaded in the third. Pitch swung on, missed strike three, but racing down to first base, Kenny, he will make it safely. And the throw then hits the runner in the helmet down at first base. Caroms away into foul ground, but he'll stay right there. We have seen a little bit of everything in this one. So the strikeout recorded by Harrington, but reaching safely on the play, at first base is Kenny. He's there with one out. The strikeout is the 10th of the night for Todd Harrington. But with one out, there's a runner at first base. And Brett Ballantyne's up. He struck out twice tonight. Kenny, a lead at first. The throw over there got away. And he'll go down to second base and be tagged out. The throw to first base caromed away, but it caromed back into the infield. Nobody knew where the ball was except for the pitcher, Todd Harrington. He picked it up through to second base, and they tag out Kenny going down there. The play, one, three, one, six. And they're two out, nobody on. As I said, we have seen everything in this game. Ballantyne up there with two out and nobody on. The pitch. Swing and a miss, strike one. Well, I guess Harrington figured that was a man he struck out anyway, so only fair to knock him off the bases, and they got the job done. Pitch, swing and a miss, strike two. Ballantyne waving at that one. And Todd Harrington quickly up on the count, two strikes. Right-hander delivers outside. One ball, two strikes. Here's Harrington into the wind of the pitch. Strike three called on the outside corner. He gets his 11th strikeout. 
And no runs, no hits, no errors. A man briefly on base, but nobody left. And after six, it's 11-0 Arlington. Seventh inning now at Centennial Field, 11 to nothing. The Eagles of Arlington, who won it in 88, did not win it last year, but they appear to be in good shape to win it this year. Division four state championship game. Corey White to lead it off. And the first pitch misses inside, one ball and no strikes. Check that, that is not White. They have a pinch hitter in the ball game here. And it's a strike call, one and one. Now, wait a minute. Is that white? We have number 15 at the plate for Arlington. Pitch in behind the hitter. We don't have a 15 on our roster. That's why I'm questioning this. And the batter was hit by the pitch. He's on at first base on the hit by a pitcher. Travis Secoy. Travis Secoy? Okay. Travis Secoy, the pinch hitter for Corey White. Batting number 10. And now Pat DeRocher, number 10, will pinch hit for Jason Record. Throw to first base, chasing Sequoy back to the bag. So another pinch hitter, Pat DeRocher, batting for Jason uh, Record here. Hard shot back through the middle into center field for the base hit. Up to second base, taking the turn is Sequoy. He holds on. And the two subs get into the act with... Uh, a hit by the pitcher and a base hit for DeRocha here in the seventh inning. Runners at first and second, nobody out. D.H. Mike Lampron is the do hitter. But again, we've got uh, another player coming into the game, Steve White. So Steve White, who's been playing right field all evening, but they've had a D.H. in there for him. Now they're going to let White hit for himself. And he swings and misses strike one. White up there with runners at first and second and nobody out in the seventh, an 11-0 lead for Arlington. Pitch to White, up and in, dips out of the way from it, and it's a ball and a strike. Secoy the runner at second, DeRocha the runner at first. Swing and a foul ball by White, back to the screen, a ball and two strikes. Lampron while DHing. Struck out, was hit by a pitch, and walked, scored a run. White takes outside, and the count goes even at two balls and two strikes. Now the pitch, breaking ball, missing high. As Rickert missed on the pitch, the count is full at three and two. Three two pitch, swing and a miss, strike three. White. Down on strikes, one away. Top of the batting order, Jim Lane, the left fielder, coming up. Lane has been a factor tonight. He singled and scored in the first, homered in the second, flied to right in the fourth, and reached on a pivotal error in the sixth, which led the opened the floodgates to a five-run inning. Pitch on the outside corner for a strike, nothing in one. Lane has scored two runs, knocked one in tonight. Pitch. Popped up, straight up in the air in the infield. The catcher, Ballantyne, back under this, and he's got it. Lane fouls to the catcher. Two away in the seventh. And Hooper Pickering, the third baseman, coming up. Pickering tonight has grounded out, pitcher to first, walked, fouled to the catcher, and reached on a fielder's choice. He's scored a run, but officially he is 0 for 3. Pitch off the glove of the catcher, Ballantyne, and the runners move up. That'll be a pass ball. Secoy goes to third. DeRocha goes to second. And a one ball, no strike count on Pickering. The 11 nothing Arlington with two out and two in scoring position. Pitch high and inside. A ball and a strike now on Pickering. Pitch on the way. Outside corner, a strike call. As Ricker got it in there, a ball and two strikes now on Pickering. One-two pitch. 
Breaking ball inside as Pickering goes down. Two balls, two strikes. Throw to third and back safely to the bag there was Sequoy. Two two pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Pickering down on strikes. And Rickert gets out of it. No runs on one hit and two left. We go to the last of the seventh at Centennial Field. Arlington leads 11 to nothing. Nothing there. Bottom of the seventh inning. Royalton needs a royal kind of a rally here. They are down 11 to nothing. And the Royals come up with Dale Dickerson scheduled, but we've got a pinch hitter for him. As up to hit for South Royalton, number 23, Eric Johnson. Johnson, the pinch hitter. For Dickerson. And he takes a strike. Nothing in one on Eric Dick or Eric Johnson. He's a freshman infielder. Takes one outside, ball one, it's one and one. Pitch on the outside corner, strike two call from Todd Harrington. Harrington has struck out 11, he's walked three. He's allowed five hits and no runs. Swing and a miss, strike three. Strikeout number 12 for Harrington. One down on the seventh. Now another pinch hitter, number 14, Mike Bellamure is going to be the pinch hitter. Bellamure to hit for Ryan Harrington here with one out and nobody on. And he takes a strike, nothing in one. Todd Harrington has had himself a night, swing and a miss, strike two. As I said, he has struck out 12 while scattering five hits. And at the plate, he's had a double and a triple and walked. Starting to go and going, Bellamure. Pitch was up, he struck out. Two strikeouts in the inning, 13 in the game for Harrington. And the Royals are down to their last out. To the top of the batting order we go, and Robbie McKins uh, McShinsky, who long ago started the game as the pitcher. Now he's been playing shortstop. He has a single and two strikeouts tonight. And he takes the ball. One ball, no strikes. Here's Todd Harrington. Swinging a foul back to the screen. One ball, one strike. 13 strikeouts, three walks for Todd Harrington tonight. Right-hander pitching. Up and in. Shinsky backs away. Two balls and one strike. Pitch comes in and missed inside. So he falls behind now, does Harrington. Three and one on McShinsky. Ray Collins on deck. 3-1 pitch. Inside ball four. And McShinsky draws the two-out base on balls. The fourth walk allowed by Todd Harrington. And Ray Collins comes to the plate. Collins tonight has been hit by a pitch. He has flied to right, and he has tripled. His triple came in the fifth inning, leading off. But they couldn't get him in. Pinch runner going into the game at first base now for South Royalton. Number 30, Sheldon Amell. Amell running for McShinsky. He's there with two away. And Collins to hit. And the pitch missed inside for a ball. One ball and no strikes. Dusty Rickert started the catch as a catcher and now is the pitcher for South Royalton waiting on deck. Swing and a miss by Collins. It's one and one. One ball, one strike with two away. Pitch comes in. And missed outside and low. Two balls and a strike. Oh, 
Harrington pitching. Collins takes high and away. And Harrington, after getting the first two on strikes, a walk, and now he's behind three and one on Collins. Three one pitch. Swing and a miss. And the count is full. Three and two. Now Harrington ready. 3-2 pitch. Way outside. Ball four all the way to the screen. Back to get it. The catcher Chad Harrington. The runner at second base. Amel takes the big turn but holds on. And runners are at first and second with two out. The walk. The fifth allowed by Todd Harrington tonight. And we've got another pinch runner. Let's see the number down there at first base, Mac. Number eight. Okay, that's Josh Clark. Pinch running at first base. So Amel the runner at second, Clark the runner at first, two out. And the batter is Dusty Record. First pitch is outside and high ball one. Record tonight has walked, singled, and he's fouled to first. One for two officially. Pitch, swing, got a piece, fouled it back to the screen. And the count goes to one ball and one strike on Dusty. Now Harrington pitching, and he missed high and away and falls behind again. Two balls and a strike. Andy Trottier, the third baseman, do up next. 2-1 pitch, swung on, hit in the air, down the right field line, and deep. The right fielder back in the corner, and he runs it down for the catch to end the game. Steve White went way back, about 325, 330 feet away, right down the line, grabs it off, and the Eagles of Arlington have regained the state championship that they won in 1988. They have won the Division II state champion, or Division IV state championship here this evening by a final score of 11 to nothing. In that seventh inning, no runs on, no hits, no errors, two left on. And the final totals in the ball game for Arlington, 11 runs on 10 hits. They committed no errors and left six men on base. For South Royalton, no runs on five hits, two errors, and they left nine in the ball game. Todd Harrington all the way to win it. Harrington allowing five hits and no runs through the course of the seven innings. He walked five. He struck out 13 along the way. And at the plate, he had a pretty fair night also. After striking out in the first inning, he had a triple, he had a double, he had a walk, he scored a couple of runs, and certainly gets the adulation as the star of this one. Arlington wins the state championship by a final score of 11 to nothing over South Royalton. Our thanks to you for taking a look. Our thanks to everybody at the University of Vermont. Athletic Director Dennis Lambert, Assistant Athletic Director Rick Farnham, John Malasso, uh, who takes care of everything here at Centennial Field very well. Our thanks to him and to you for watching. Congratulations to Arlington, the Division IV State Championship. I'm George Como for the Vermont Film Service. Have a pleasant evening, everybody. First, on behalf of the University of Vermont, it's athletic director.
Division IV champion for 1990, the captains of our Arlington Police come forward. Now each individual for Arlington will come forward to accept their championship keychain. Each individual member, please. Thank you for attending tonight's game and have a safe trip home.